<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Suckle Live, y'all. Well, every time I go to Chicago, I have to keep up with my diet. Everybody knows that I'm uh, mm -hmm. training for a fitness competition. So I call Celebrity Chef Grady. Now, he is a chef to pro athletes and many other celebrities, but he is here to show us how to pack our dishes and meal prep. We are privileged to have him in the studio. Please welcome Chef Grady. Yay! Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank uh, well, you for having we're, me. We're so excited that you're here, Chef Grady. I gotta tell you, um, first of all, you're uh, an ex-athlete yourself, Division One football yeah. player. But what I wanna know is, and, and I've had your food. The food is so good, it don't make no sense. Thank you. Thank how you. is it that you know how to cook this good as an ex-athlete, like when did you get the passion for this? Well, growing up, um, my grandfather and my uh, uncle were both chefs. Okay. And um, so I was always around like um, food and everything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And so um, while I was at Northern Illinois playing football and basketball, mm -hmm. um, hated eating like junk food late at night. So yeah. my next year I wanted to uh, move off campus and get my own apartment and start like cooking food for myself. And so that passion just kind of came from there. Okay, so I see that you have one of my favorite dishes that you make, which is pan roasted salmon. So is that what we're gonna do right That's now? That's what we're doing right now. Okay, so well let's get it popping. A little bit of salt and pepper here mm -hmm. on the salmon. You wanna uh, coat both sides and okay. then you wanna coat the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. And then just gently place it in there as you hear that sizzle. Mm -hmm. Then you want to kind of move the pan around a little bit so that it doesn't stick. Okay, okay. now when you have to cook for people who have restrictions, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the most important things that you have to keep in mind? Like, what are some of the things that are the most common restrictions that you have to keep in mind when you're cooking for people? Um, one, not making the food too oily mm -hmm. um, because, you know, that can cause, like, a lot of problems, especially with the taste of the food. Oh, wow. Um, but then um, not too much sodium mm -hmm. in certain things. I have a client right now that I'm dealing with, uh, can't have a lot of sodium. Um, yeah, I'm so one of them. I use uh, different seasonings um, to kind of like, um, you know, help the balance out with what that. Helps, what, what can you use instead of salt? to make it have that salt taste. Let's scoot over to We're gonna put this in the oven That's right going here. down to the oven, yeah. okay. And we're well, just gonna, go let, we're just gonna let that sit. Okay, then. Um, I use a, a brand called Flavor Gods okay. that's out, uh, based out of LA. Flavor and I Gots. also use uh, Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash. Um, which I've used for you uh, several like times Dash. or whatever. Um, and then right now we're gonna, we're gonna start this uh, cauliflower rice. Now, okay, so as far as sweetening is concerned, because mm -hmm. um, I see you got a little piece of banana over there and some kiwi. But when you can't use sugar, obviously white sugar is a disaster. So mm -hmm. what are some of the must-have sweeteners that we could use to kind of trick ourselves to thinking our food is sweet? Um, you can use a little bit of honey. Okay. Um, sometimes honey works. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also like using... Is that cauliflower? This is, this is the cauliflower, cauliflower rice right cauliflower here. Cauliflower rice, yep. my God, today. Cauliflower rice right here. Okay. Um, so using, um, yeah, like honey and then... Um, you can find uh, different brands from um, Whole Foods, okay. different uh, type of sweeteners uh, that will work also. Okay, now, because most people have active lifestyles, I'm mm -hmm. one of them, mm -hmm. I'm extremely busy, so meal prepping for me is imperative. What are some of the tips that you can give to people? Maybe they're not training for anything specific, but maybe they just want to meal prep. What are some of the mm -hmm. tips that you can give people who have extremely active lifestyles as far as meal prepping is concerned? Because creating the meals and all mm -hmm. of that is a whole thing. Yeah, um, I would say pick a day out of the week yeah. and like focus on your meal prep. So whether right. it's Sunday, whether it's Monday, really just focus on making your meals prior to. That yeah. way you have your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. Yes. Um, a meal like this only takes about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, so you know, you have your pan roasted salmon, as we said, uh, the cauliflower rice, and then we're gonna do the uh, steamed broccolini, which we're gonna start right now. And you know what, I have a question about that. Is this it right here? Yes. Can they put it in there? Yeah, you can you put, put that the in. whole stock in there? Yes. Okay. I have a question. When you're meal prepping, what are the main macronutrients, meaning what are the main protein, fat, carbohydrates, what is the balance between the three foods that have to be in the box? Because I know that's very important for people to know. Um, well, depending on, again, your diet and you know how much you can take in, um, I like to use um, the different scales, uh, or the scale here, mm -hmm. to... Uh, oh, scale. Yeah, the scale 
to uh, kind of weigh the food. That yeah. way you know how much that you're putting in. Uh -huh. um, and then these meal prep containers are a good portion. balance, portion control. Okay. Um, a lot of people feel like they can't eat all day when they really can, but it's uh -huh. portion control. Yeah. You know? And so uh, just using these different containers help as well as um, a scale also. And I'm yeah. going to check on the salmon Okay, right check here. on down to the salmon and I will help <laughs> eat your food. Okay. I'll <laughs> do this hard for our rice. Now, why cauliflower rice? Because people say that regular rice is okay, like if you use brown rice, because they say rice is gluten-free. So why did you choose cauliflower rice to go with the salmon and broccolini? Um, just because some people try to stay away from a lot of carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And so for a good substitute, I um, like to use the uh, cauliflower mm -hmm. rice. And it has that great taste to it once you add the different seasonings, the herbs, and um, different spices to mm -hmm. it. So as you'll see soon enough how uh, good it, that it tastes. Now, is it cost effective? Because what if you can't afford to hire a, a meal prep person? What are some of the tips? Ooh, come on with flipping the cauliflower right, flip and it, it didn't go it, on the ground. It, right. Okay then. <laughs> what are some of the things or tips that you can give people as far as creating meal prep for themselves that might make it more cost effective? Because in your mind you're thinking, man, this is buying a lot of material mm -hmm. and having to do so much stuff. So how do you make it cost effective? Um, I recommend buying in bulk, maybe going to like a Sam's or a uh, Costco's mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, in order to uh, to kind of you know have the cost control mm -hmm. of um, of everything, and I also have a smoothie bowl here Ooh. for us. I like smoothies. Yeah. So you put honey in there. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna okay. put some honey in here. Okay. We're gonna add. You can add this if okay, you want. Okay. Good. Let me do. It's a little thing. bit of granola. Okay. A little granola. A little bit of granola. A little bit of kiwi. A little bit of kiwi. A little bit of coconut shavings. Coconut shavings. Mm -hmm. You be knowing stuff. That's right. what I'm saying. I would never think to put no coconut shavings. And then you have your bananas. Okay, and then the bananas. Okay. Right. That sounds like something, don't it, Rashawn? <laughs> okay, and then you just stir it up. Just stir it up. Just stir it up. See, I, I feel like you don't have to have a bad time when you meal prep. No, I feel like that you can eat well, be healthy, and enjoy your food. Add um, your honey. And then add the honey. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Chef Grady, so much. You've been amazing. I can't wait to eat your food. It's going to be awesome. And to keep up with everything Chef Grady has going on in and outside the kitchen, be sure to follow him on Instagram at Chef Grady One.